A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 14, verses 25 to 33. The passage is taken from the Message Version of the Bible. One day, when large groups of people were walking along with him, Jesus turned and told them, Anyone who comes to me but refuses to let go of father, mother, spouse, children, brothers, sisters, yes, even one's old self, can't be my disciple. Anyone who won't shoulder his own cross and follow behind me can't be my disciple. Is there anyone here who planning to build a new house? Does it first sit down and figure the cost so you will know if you can complete it? If you only get the foundation laid and then run out of money, you are going to look pretty foolish. Everyone passing by will poke fun at you. He started something he couldn't finish. Or can you imagine a king going into battle against another king without deciding whether it is possible with his 10,000 troops to face the 20,000 troops of the other? And if he decides he can't, won't he send an emissary and work out a truce? Simply put, if you are not willing to take what is dearest to you, whether plants or people, and kiss it goodbye, you can't be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord God alone suffices. We plan to fail when we fail to plan. Beloved, the beauty of a building is the strength of its foundation. If the edifice of life is to be beautiful, it must be well founded on God. So it is neither a relationships nor possessions, but God alone who sustains us to the end in an uncertain life is our foundation. Because this discipleship that takes shape in us is planted by God and we are fully submerged in Him alone. While a dead fish moves effortlessly along the current, swimming against the current is a sign that the fish is alive. On encountering strong winds or slightly changing weather conditions, all the birds fly towards their nests, except the eagle, because no nesting bird is spared from the weather except the high-flying eagle. Our lively discipleship demands us to be like fish and the eagle, to break all ties and chains of earthly life in all forms. Birth and death are beyond our control, but what we make of the space between these proofs, whether they are mere events or epochs. There is someone in the world who is achieving those that we think are impossible. Discipleship is a heroic act possible only for those who dare and choose the truth for themselves responsibly. Such total dedication is the fruit of undivided love for Christ and His people. The journey of discipleship is not to stand on the top of the world, but to dwell in God's love. The love of God makes one brave, and a brave dies only once, but a coward dies every second of his life. Knowing this, St. Paul says in Philippians chapter 1, verse 21, to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. To uphold love as the supreme good in life will urge us in the midst of adversity. Therefore, since God is the source of all good and faith, love for God and neighbor should rule the hearts of those who follow Him. Therefore, prioritizing God's love in discipleship is not a choice, but a way of life. God, who began the loving discipleship in us, will reach it to its completion.